Prime Minister Dr. Hubert Minnis says he's totally against oil drilling in the Bahamas. I am totally against our oil drilling in our waters, totally. All right, I've said that before, but that has not changed. Unfortunately, we were saddled with, uh, with um, an agreement that uh, we met there, and uh, when we discussed it with the legal uh, department, we were advised that uh, the commitment and everything was signed, basically, and we could not get out of it. But if we could have gotten out of it, believe me, I am against totally drilling for oil in our waters. A new multi-billion dollar oil refinery is headed to Grand Bahama, one of several investments Prime Minister Dr. The Honorable Hubert Minnis says will lead to the revitalization of that island's economy. He announced in the House of Assembly that government recently negotiated a heads of agreement for Oban Energies to open a refinery and oil storage facility on the nation's second city, which will create thousands of jobs. Oban Energies, as per the advice, that first phase will consist of 4 million barrels of food storage, a harbor, and deep sea loading dock to service large vessels and the construction of a 50,000 barrel per day refinery. In addition, <coughs> Oban will build up to 20 million barrel liquid bulk storage facility and a 250,000 barrel per day refinery. Hopefully your, your listeners and viewers will be familiar with our assets in the Bahamas, uh, the high impact uh, Perseverance well that we got within three weeks of uh, commencing back in uh, March. So it's long been a sort of an aspiration, if you like, to add production, to add income, uh, to add cash to uh, our portfolio in order to cover uh, costs, in order to cover overheads. So really in a, in a sort of single uh, leap uh, we're able to uh, add quite a portfolio with a discrete drill team uh, that we can mobilize at any time. Uh, and uh, just recently, we actually signed an unconditional rig contract uh, with Stena uh, to provide us a rig. So that rig will definitely be arriving between the middle of December and, uh, and February uh, sometime. It's like, uh, like we've said many times to our Bahamian uh, shareholders and uh, Bahamas Petroleum shareholders, version of the, the, the shares between uh, the two companies, the DPC shareholders will end up with 76% uh, of the company uh, and uh, the combined company, the Columbus uh, shareholders, 24%. But we're looking forward uh, as, a, as a management group at DPC to, uh, to leading the staff in Trinidad to grow production, as I, I say, and mature various prospects and indeed to continue to expand the, the asset base. I, I, I feel somewhat different. I, I, I feel somewhat different. 